Hi, welcome to Bellas Vistas. Well, I've been doing a lot of star trail photography lately and some people have been asking me how I go about it, so I thought I would show you the kit. This is what I use. Keep my tripod fastened to the back of my camera bag, just like this. Pull the tripod off. Now, you're going to be cold sometimes when you're working out at night doing star trails and whatnot, so you, I always like to pull the legs out all at once. I can unfasten all three legs with one click. You can do that on a twisty turning one too, just the same. Pull out the legs. Now your tripod is ready. So we'll just set that aside. You know how to hook the tripod onto the camera with your quick release plate. Put the tripod. Okay, now we'll open up the camera bag. This is the runner pack, so it's got an extra strap on there to keep your stuff from flying all over the place. Now, unzip the bag. Here I keep my quick, quick release, cable release, wire, trip, whatever it is. You can use a fancy intervalometer, but I find this works fine. It's a locking release. Push it in like there, and it locks down. You can do a single shot like that. So. Now, my camera that I like to use is the Olympus E5. Here's the Olympus E5. It's got the SHQ lens, an F2 lens, 14 millimeters to 30, 35. It's a 14 to 35 millimeter SHQ lens. I like to take the filter off. I keep a UV filter on my lenses to keep the dust off them all the time. Keep the lens nice and clean. Now, put this on because anything you don't want anything hitting your lens while you don't have a filter on. The settings that I use, I shoot manual. Man, you're going to use manual focus. I shoot raw files. And there's the 500 rule. So your focal length of your lens, you take 500, divide the focal length of your lens. Say you're shooting at... Uh, 35 millimeters, so you divide 500 by 35, and that will give you the longest exposure in seconds you can use. I prefer to use 1600 ISO f2 at 20 seconds, and I set my camera for a two second delay between exposures. So, what I do, I hook the release onto the camera, just screws on like this. Sometimes I need glasses and a little light when I'm working at night. Now the camera's on the tripod, I make my first exposure, camera waits for two seconds, and it clicks and it does a 20 second exposure. Now when that exposure's finished, the first one, I put it on view, and I zoom in and check my focus. You might have to walk your focus back and forth a little bit until the stars are sharp. Make sure you're far enough away from your subject so you can maintain focus on the subject and the stars at the same time. There, the exposure was just finished, so had I been shooting something that was really there, I'd be able to just take a look on the back of the camera, check my focus, move it back in, adjust my composition a little bit. When we're happy with everything, we just lock the button down and the camera will start shooting. We're getting a 20 second exposure at F2, we're going to wait two seconds and it'll shoot again. And you just watch your watch for 30 minutes or you count 90 exposures on the back of the camera as they're coming in and that's the way you do it. And you're going to want to have a spare battery in your pocket nice and warm because the camera might get cold and it might shut down on you. So that's how I do it. Now we'll show you some of the photographs we've done like this and the final result. Put the card in, the card reader. Highlight all of the images and then open in Photoshop as layers. When all the layers have opened in Photoshop, select them all and then change the blend mode to lighten. See it lightens right there. Take some time for everything to happen. You'll see an airplane line right across here, and we 
can shut that off by finding the layer and turning off visibility for that layer. There's a line from an airplane right here, so by turning off the proper layers corresponding to the airplane trail, we remove them. There's our flattened image. It's ready to print. Wow, the bristle cone pines, what a trip that was. It was freezing, freezing cold. There were stories of 90 below wind chill and stuff on the internet. Look at all the jet trails in this picture. They're uh, pretty amazing. It's nice to have the van with you because you can get in the van and get warm while your photographs being taken. This is in the desert in the Joshua Tree Forest. The Seguero Cactus with the star trails behind them. 200 year old cactus with uh, how old the stars are. Who knows how old the stars are. Death Valley, the artist palette. Star trails in Death Valley behind some gnarly old trees. In Utah, the delicate arch. This is without any extra light. Here we've got some light on the arch itself. Star trails behind it. Monument Valley, the mittens. I love the mittens. Look at those thumbs. And there's a couple of jet trails in behind. Sometimes I like them. You know, they almost look like laser beams coming from a flying saucer or something like crazy like that. Look at this one here. War of the Worlds or what? One of the lads had a red light on his backpack lighting up that rock. Just amazing to get out in the night, look at the night sky, get your photographs. Death Valley, gnarly trees. Here we've got some northern lights. This was one of the places we parked up at for the night. And look at the mountains off in the distance and the star trails. The northern lights on Prosperous Lake and Yellowknife unbelievable these are amazing i'm using the same exposure 1600 iso and f2 here's the galaxy again i just love it it's amazing rose blanche lighthouse with the milky way behind it thanks for visiting bella's vistas come on back again